Hello, this is Reldan, and you're joining me here today for my testing and demonstration of NVIDIA GameStream on the Shield tablet um, in 1080p mode. Uh, this is coming into my bedroom PC um, from my living room PC, and I'm actually doing this over Wi-Fi. I've got a... I actually have two routers um, simply because of the distance involved. Uh, I have and they're both dual band, so I have them basically connected to each other on the 2.4 gigahertz band. And then I have my tablet connected to the router that I have here in the bedroom that basically is working as a repeater connected on the 5 gigahertz band. And I do this because by using the two separate bands, um, I don't have the um, degradation of performance that you would have if you just had a single band router and you were trying to basically use it as a repeater uh, because at that point what you really are doing is you're cutting the, the bandwidth in half because half of it has to go to repeating the signal and the other half is what your device is actually connecting to. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm actually doing this uh, 1080p streaming um, to my bedroom TV um, through the Shield. I've got the Shield connected via HDMI cable. I actually have it in uh, console mode because what that does is that instead of mirroring the Shield's uh, 1920 by 1200 screen to my 1080p television, which doesn't work perfectly because you're going to have some scaling involved because it's not the, the native resolution. In console mode, it actually outputs a, a pure 1080p signal. Um, as you can see, I've also got my Shield controller and a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard that I'm using, which will enable me to control things per, per usual. Uh, and one thing I'll note is that while you can certainly use this to just the way you normally would use uh, for game streaming things, I'm just picking like, you know, a, a game that either is built in or that you've set up to stream. What I'm actually going to be doing today is I'm going to be streaming my, my entire uh, PC desktop. And in the description uh, of this video, I'm going to provide some uh, instructions for basically um, how to do some of these things that I'm doing. Okay. So. Here is my um, PC desktop um, being beamed uh, across my house um, in beautiful uh, 1080p. Um, and one thing to note is, unlike using something like Splashtop, uh, where I would have kind of an overlay, um, I'm, it, it's actually sending um, Bluetooth mouse connected to my shield. Um, this is actually controlling um, the mouse that, I mean, basically it's interacting um, back to Windows and, and just giving me full control. I'm not. I don't have like a ghost mouse that's kind of like translating my commands. I'm, I'm directly controlling uh, the cursor um, on my PC. Um, just to show that this is in fact uh, 1080p, I have a 1080p test image here. And what you're hopefully seeing it uh, is it's a little bit blurry right now, but that's because I don't have it on actual size. If I open this to actual size, everything gets nice and, and perfectly crisp. And that's because this is a, a 1080p checkerboard pattern. Um, if I wasn't in 1080p or if I'm scaling this at all, it just basically looks like crap. And if I scroll in, I can show you basically that. It's like the moment that I've scrolling all, now it's doing scaling and it's really hard to scale basically um, black and white checkerboard um, if you're not actually displaying them pixel per pixel. So you get basically um, just like weird looking patterns as it's doing its best to try to make it look right. If I zoom all the way in, you can actually see, yep, that this is in fact a, a true uh, checkerboard pattern. But actual size, 1080p, boom, everything lays out nice. And you can actually see um, how, just how without distortion this streaming is simply because of the fact that, you know, if there, if, this, if the shield, if the game stream was doing any actual scaling here, then there's no way that this would be looking uh, nice and crisp on, on my screen. One of the cool things about just being able to stream your desktop is that uh, on top of just the ease of being able to control and basically run anything you like, you also can use it um, for doing things like, let's say I wanted to stream, um, like say Amazon video. Well, I'm running it on my PC and I mean, GameStream basically picks up the, the video and does everything nice enough that, you know, basically, boom, here's, uh, here's Farscape. Um, there's really no limitations about uh, anything you could do on your PC. You can now do 
um, when you're game streaming. Let's close this down. One thing I also note is I found that the Shield tablet has, you can kind of uh, tap on the screen a bit and you can actually get it to bring up an FPS counter. And so you can kind of see, see you can see that up in the corner. Um, so 59, it'll usually hover between 59 and, and 60 uh, frames, which is, which is rather nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, you're probably interested. I mean, it's game stream, so I mean, you can still use it this way for gaming. So instead of being in big picture mode, I've now got Steam open in basically just normal desktop mode. And I'm going to just be, uh, let's go ahead and launch uh, Shadow of Mortar. We'll see how this goes. And you can see that even though I'm basically, I'm streaming 1080p and everything, um, you can see that frame counter that the, the stream is still providing basically a uh, I mean, a pretty solid um, 60 frames, which is which is pretty nice. So I'm switching over uh, for the sake of this game, easier to control using a controller. And come down here, we'll hop into options, video. We'll see that it is uh, in 1080p. And as we saw earlier, my streaming is also in 1080p. So, I mean, basically uh, what you see is what I'm actually getting. And I'm still getting a nice um, 60 frames on this. Here, we'll hop over and just see what it looks like in game. But I'll definitely say I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed um, since, since I've uh, found basically the ways to get this uh, Wi-Fi 1080p streaming working and getting it to stream my desktop. Um, it's been just incredibly useful for me to have uh, for, to have this tablet be, being able to do this. And I'll, I'll definitely say I'm looking around. Um, this looks exactly the same as it does when I'm playing the game in just on my PC in the other room. I mean, there's pretty much no loss of, uh, of picture quality. Where's all the enemies for me to fight? Oh well. Uh, so yeah, that is um, NVIDIA Game Stream um, streaming 1080p uh, over Wi-Fi. And oh, there we go. Still got to kill this guy. Oh, come on, really? You can't kill him when he's down on the. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well. Takes it out here. So yeah, um, one thing I'll note is that NVIDIA, despite how well this actually ends up working, um, has decided not to enable this ability to do this 1080p over Wi-Fi by default. Uh, it will only allow you to do this if it thinks that it's connected over Ethernet. Uh, the only two ways to do this is to get an OTG cable uh, and basically actually connect your tablet to Ethernet. or uh, the other way is a combination of uh, you have to root your tablet and install a couple programs that only work if on a rooted uh, Android device that enable you to make the uh, tablet believe that it is on Ethernet when it's actually just on Wi-Fi. Uh, it still kind of boggles my mind a little bit as, because, I mean, clearly I'm, that's what I've done. It's, I mean, you can see Shield tablet not connected, just the HDMI cable here. Um, but, you know, it, it definitely works perfectly. So I don't know if this is just something where at the time when they decided to put that limitation in, NVIDIA simply, you know, it, the game streaming uh, wasn't where it is now. But it, it's certainly something that I would think they ought to remove or, you know, provide a toggle or something like that. I mean, it may be possible that some home networks on Wi-Fi aren't at a point where they could handle um, being able to stream like this. But I, I don't really, it doesn't seem like it makes a whole lot of sense as to why someone ought to have to root their uh, tablet and, you know, play around with internal settings in order to get, you know, something that clearly works and is clearly really awesome um, to be able to work for them. Well, I'm going to end things here. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this. And um, if you have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comments. Um, this is Rel Dan. Thank you much.